Shoot me, sir. I will not consent. No trespass. Get off my property. I have harmed no one. Please leave now. Thank you. As my brother, the Spirit of the Lord, I do not consent. Leave. I have committed no crime. Please leave now. Thank you. I do not consent. You're a pirate right now. It's a death penalty for pirates. You know that. After that, you should probably leave. Really? I don't consent, sir. Shoot me if you're going to do it or get off my property. I don't give a fuck. It ain't valid. Common law here. I command lawfulness, not you, you fucking pirate. Get the fuck off my property. Or shoot me in the back, motherfucker. You hear me? Shoot me in the fucking back, you cocksucker. Get the fuck out of here. You're under arrest. You are under arrest. You are under arrest. All rights secured. All rights secured. All rights secured. Shoot me, motherfucker. Is this how you do it? Shoot me right here. Put it right here, American. Put it right here, American. Shoot me in the back. Go ahead. Shoot me, American. You are under arrest, sir. Come now. You're a pirate. Come out now. Are you, are you not going to have a conversation man to man anymore? No, you're a pirate lost at sea. This is what they do to a targeted parent when you when they kidnap you from your mother at four years old, then they kidnap your kids from you at 31 years old. The same Michigan DHS worker, Stephen Latterman, responsible for the murder of my mother, Ida Marie Arnold, Jeffrey Joseph Arnold, and myself. Four comas I have survived. This is what they people do. These people do. They are pirates. I have I've repeatedly told them they are trespassing, they have trespassed on my property. I've asked them to leave several times. I've asked them to get the media and they refuse. This is what they do to a targeted parent. They claim they have a warrant, a legalese fiction warrant. Look at this, guys. Can you see? I do not consent, no trespass, all rights secured. Leave, please. Oh, it's accurate. Everybody sees. Because you're saying we're refusing you media. You and yourself said you have Facebook and that's the media. And then I said I can try to work on it, but it's no guarantee if you come out peacefully. So. I already told you you can shoot me because I'm not leaving. I will die here for you, my brother. I love you that much. The spirit of brotherly love. You don't if, want anybody to die. I don't want anybody to die either. That's why I want you to leave so I can continue to fight my case for your kids. Well, it'll be a while then. It, we'll be here however long. Shoot me or leave. It's that simple. I know you don't. Well, then do the right thing then. You know in your heart what the right thing to do is at this point. Now that you know me and we're talking man to man, a brother in front of me, it's a little different now than when you first rolled in, ain't it? Huh? Look at them guns. Take me out right here. Put it right here, cowboy. Soldier. Real good American right there, ain't you, bud? Grandfather, how'd you do it? Me who did it? No, about a 40 year old building with a whole bunch of logs that was one of the ones left over. I cut it off the land it grew on. He was the smartest, strongest, hardest working man I've ever known my whole life, and I know thousands of them. Okay. He was a general contractor and he was World War II sergeant.
and Korea. And Korea? So he served the country admirably, right? Yeah, and he would tell me not to leave this building with you. Why do you think he would tell you to not leave? Because you are pirates trespassing on dry land. Do you still do any sort of woodworking? Yeah, did you see my mailboxes? I built two of them. Did you? Yeah, I built both of them out there. What'd you build them out of? Wood. Nails. Maple, cedar. Did you build the gazebo too? No, I did not. The Amish did. Is that kind of your escape from reality? Is the birds, this sound right here, makes me okay. PTSD, you know. Okay. Did you serve in the military? No, I did not, but I'm a local 107 Boilermaker by trade. I've worked in every power plant and paper mill in this state. Okay. Did you work around Sawyer County often or no? I just moved here three years ago. That's when I started fighting these people. What, what brought you to Sawyer County? I bought a gun to commit suicide after they kidnapped my kids. I, first I OD'd. I survived a five-day coma. Then I went and bought a 30 odd 6 rifle to blow my head off with. Instead, I got arrested for it and thrown in prison. After a mock trial in a kangaroo court surrounded by gu people with guns, just like you. Just like you. So I had a three-hour trial with an attorney sitting next to me that I had a pending civil lawsuit against. How is that even possible? I wasn't allowed to call a single witness of the 13 I needed to literally expose them then. Where, where was, what I could have exposed all this way back then had you not thrown me in prison. What? I knocked myself out six times in three states while unlawfully held in federal custody. What county was that in? You, sir, are the terrorists. You, look at that gun right there. Do I have a gun on you? I have a hammer. Because he's told me he was going to send that dog in there. I don't want to kill your dog, but I will if you send him in here. He's going to die. I don't want to kill a dog. I love dogs. Why would you send your dog in harm's way? I don't want anybody to get hurt. Me either. So why would you even fucking bring this shit? What are you even doing here? Go arrest the people who are the real criminals. We have an arrest warrant for you, Jason. No, you don't. We do. God is my judge, sir. There is no man on earth above him. Or can we agree to, that? we can agree to that? So, with that being said, who issued the warrant? What's his name, the judge? I don't know what the judge's name is. You don't even know his name, but you think you have a warrant. I know we have a warrant, Jason. Get it out and read it to me. What does the Bible say? Get the warrant out and read it to me. I don't care what the Bible says because no, 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 here's the deal. You brought up God. Romans altered the Bible. They removed 14 books. They admitted to it five months ago. They also altered Noah Webster's Second edition dictionary. They, from the first to the second, they put their little paws in there. Vatican's canceled. Sixty-two viewers watching you guys. You're doing good. Either go get the media or leave. Jason, in your own words, you said Facebook Live was the media, so you have the media here. Your story has been heard. They have to show me the warrant. You have to show me the warrant. You said once you have the media here, you will come out. You have, no, I did not say that. You said that just now. You said that. You put them words in my mouth just now. You told me if I got you the media. So you, you didn't get me shit. Where's the media? Go get them. Go get somebody, a news crew with a camera. We'll have a conversation then. A real conversation about killers in America. Domestic terrorists. Prime example, folks. Domestic terrorism at its finest. Facebook Live is the media. We had a conversation, and you said, if I get you the media, you'll come out. You didn't get me no media. I went and got Facebook. Right, you have the media. How is that the media? How is it not the media? Get mainstream media. This is private media. Okay. You handle corporate law. I handle the private. Common law. Guys with guns. Now there's 103 viewers. Okay, you have 103 viewers. We want to peacefully resolve this. We want... Then let me listen to my birds and let me finish preparing my case and my uncle will serve them in three days with papers as scheduled. An arrest warrant from the state of Michigan for your arrest, Jason. That's what we are trying to execute. In Wisconsin. Yes, sir. It's a fully executable warrant. 
Okay, then read it to me. Read me the warrant. Do you have the warrant? Are you kidding me? You don't even have a warrant! Stop. I was asking a commander a question. Okay. The guy with the face mask on? What's he, what has he got a shield on for? Don't you guys get hot in that shit? A little bit. I ain't no harm to you. Take your fucking helmets off. At ease, boys. We'll be here a while if you ain't going to show me a warrant. You better shoot me. No. Read me the warrant. I do not consent. State of Michigan, County of Schoolcraft. Common law man on dry land. No judge is above my judge, God. I need to read you the warrant, so it's my turn to talk right now, okay? Do any peace officer or court officer authorized to make a record? That's me. Peace officer. That's me. I'm peaceful. You guys are hostile. See that? See the difference? I'm peaceful. That's me. I'm peaceful, not you. You are hostile. See that? See the difference? You asked to read, have the warrant read. You're under arrest. But I'm peaceful. You're not. You're under arrest. You are interrupting me when I'm trying to read the warrant. Well, yeah, because you're violating every one of my fucking rights here today. So, after I invoked them a whole bunch of times. Are you going to allow me to read or no? I do not consent. But you asked me to. It's not valid. I am the peace judge. It is valid. It is a valid warrant. We'll read it onto the record then, and it's not. It is not valid. The complaining witness has filed a sworn complaint in this court stating that... Who is the complaining witness? Who is the victim? Defendant contrary to the law. Who is the victim? No victim, no crime. Even you know that law, right? Who is the injured party? Or driving recklessly. It is the people... Driving recklessly? You're here with 20 guns? Because I marked the crime scenes where, are you kidding me? And who's the peaceful one here? I harmed no one today or yesterday or the last 20 years of my life. Remember, you asked me to show you the warrant and read it to you, and I just did. Okay. Read it onto the record. I didn't hear nothing you said. I'm, I'm protecting myself here with my rights. I read it. Who signed it? What judge? He's not a judge. A reverend signed it? Oh, Are you kidding me? Moment. Who's the judge? Hold on. That was in the witness spot. All right. I'm trying to decipher his signature. Those not doing harm really are the true authority, fellas. God's people, me. I'm the peace officer here. You guys are hostile. See the difference? Pirates. Pirates versus peaceful. I whipped a donut to mark a crime scene. But you also asked me to read the warrant and show you the warrant, so here it is. Where's the judge's signature? What, who is the judge? The judge's signature is right there. And what is his name? Okay. What is the judge's name? Hold on. If, if no, you, not hold on. Yes. What judge? No, not yes. You, you are You're on my you, land. You're, You're on my you. land. You answer my questions. Who is the judge? Who signed it? No judge. No valid warrant. No, you don't. Yes, I do. I do not consent to that. Well, here's the deal, Jason. Just keep giving demands of what you want us to do. Yeah, leave. Get off my property. No trespass, no trespass, no trespass, no trespass. I bar you, Lucifer, Satan. Get out of here. I have shown you a copy of the warrant. I have read the warrant to you. How about you show me something in good faith that we're communicating? Oh, we're communicating. 443 viewers. No, I'm not consenting to that, because if you send your dog in, I won't have no way to defend myself. Here, how about this? Here's a coffee cup. Here, have some coffee. Go in the house, make yourself some coffee, friends. Take your helmets off, take your stupid vests off. It's hotter than hell. What are you even doing? We are executing a search warrant. Oh, oh, a search warrant or an arrest warrant? Which is it? You don't even know. Are you kidding me? You have no judge's signature. You have no search warrant and no arrest warrant. There's nothing. 
You just, and you converted it to a search warrant or an arrest warrant? Illegal search and seizure too? This is a hostage situation. I am mad enough to admit I misspoke. You misspoke? Do you, are you schooled in the law? I misspoke. Are you schooled in the law? No. Are you schooled in the law? You still have not given me a judge's signature. You have the media, Facebook Who is the judge? You haven't given anything in good faith to us. Neither have you. Look at you rolled in here with a fucking rifle on me. Thank you, thank you boys for kind of calming down on him. He's got his arms down. Look at there's a man of God praying for me instead of wanting to shoot me while the other two still got me pinned down. No. That's a soldier right there. That's my brother. The guy on his fucking knees next to that rig. God bless you, sir! You are a real American! So, like I said, I've read the warrant, shown you the warrant, you've asked for stuff and you've gotten it. Okay? We've already established we cannot leave. Because we have an arrest warrant. Constant presence until then. So, how about you give us something in good faith? Give me a name of a judge who signed that warrant. Wet ink signature. Are you serious? Are you serious right now, my friend? What? That I can't read a signature? Because there is not one. There is one, right? Because he's, the, any judge knows it's not lawful. Who is the judge? Freedom of speech. People have the right to know who's, who, who is accusing me of what crime. Who is the state? Who is the victim? Me. I'm the victim. I was kidnapped. My kids are kidnapped. You all got it wrong. I am the victim. I am the injured party. You are still injuring me right now. I suffer from PTSD like you wouldn't believe. And you are... St Look at this. So Jason, what can you show us that's in good faith since I have now done two things you have asked for? Will you throw the hammer out the door? No, that's for your dog. Like he said, he's going to send him in here to get me when you first got here, right? I mean, I don't want to kill your dog. I really don't. But I do have the right to defend my life. I don't consent to what you're doing, bud. I'm not going to ever come out of here. You will have to kill me. Either that or wait maybe a week until I fall asleep. But I've been known to stay up a few weeks at a time with my PTSD and my dreams because of what DHS did to me. So we're going to be here a while, bud. Jason, remember we made the agreement not to yell and scream at each other? Well, these guys started it when they pulled in here with all them guns on a peaceful man's land. I'm not one of those guys, so... You're not. You still ain't giving me the name of a judge. 677 viewers. God entered the picture. That's a conflict of interest. He's been trying to kill me most of my life. Well, of course. No wonder why. We cannot control oh, my God. You want to talk about terrorists? No. You want to talk about terrorists? Mark terrorists. Terrorists. Mark terrorists. Judge, okay? Do I look like a non-peaceful man? So just I'm the peaceful man. guy here. See? This is my property. My domicile. This is my domicile. I have the right to question my accuser. Bring him here. Bring him here. Bring the judge to me so then you can arrest him. You do have a right to face your accuser, but that happens in court. No, that's you right now accusing me and you're saying you're not the accuser. Who is the injured party? Me or some judge that's butthurt because I marked the scene of three murders? The, the judge signed the warrant. 803 viewers. No, you haven't shown me anything. You haven't even, sh you, you have not even confirmed if there's a wedding signature on there. Is it just a printout that they do, a rubber stamp? That's what they've done my whole life. That ain't lawful. It needs a wedding signature and then it needs to be notarized. You didn't know that though, did you?
Because you don't even know your own rights. And you don't even know that you don't know. That's the problem. Remember, we're working to yell at each other. Okay, we're trying to stay calm. So, what out of good faith can you do for us, Jason? Here, right here, I'm going to put some tunes on for us, my brother. Okay? We'll get some radio, some music going, then I can calm down a little bit. I'm sorry, I'm having some PTSD, uh, PTSD flashbacks. 93 days in a padded room at 12 years old. I, I, I see you're sweating a little bit. You want to 27 hours in a straight jacket at 12 years old. Them people, Mark Loma people up there, Stephen Latterman, that group. I, I don't, I don't know the them. people you're representing, you don't know them. No, you don't. They're terrorists. They're murdering terrorists. Yeah, I'll take water from you. Okay. Huh. Let me grab a water. Here. I'm scared to take it from your hand because I don't want you to put your hands on me because that would be assaulting me. As my brother, are you going to set it inside here or are you going to harm me right now? I am going to walk up. I'm going to place it on that second mat and you can grab it, okay? God bless you. But I want your hands up in the air. No, I'm not doing no hands up in the air because I'm not under arrest. Okay, I, you are. You all are all are under arrest right now. I just want to up so I know that you have nothing in your hands. You're not going to reach for anything, okay? Is that fine? Will you put your right hand up for me? Yeah, I consent to you being under okay. arrest. Keep your hand up, please. Okay? I'm going to set it right here for you, okay? I love you. Thank you. That was nice. You gave me something to drink. No, you don't shoot me, no. I'm peaceful. But I want... I'm the good guy, I promise. Okay. I really am. I swear I to God I am. You really don't even know what I've been through. You have, Because you couldn't bear it. Tell me about None it. of you could ever bear what I have I been just, through. I want you to tell me about it. Okay? I've been trying to. And I've been listening. Well, seven and a half years and $7,000 worth of mail, what would you have done at this point? I'd be upset too. Exactly, you would. You'd go arrest the judge, wouldn't you? I'd be very good upset. Good for you. No, I please do that on behalf of me. Right. You, You have my consent now. For, I will release you from your arrest. Now you go arrest the judge, please, on my behalf. Thank you. I, I, I can't. You really can. There's nothing more to talk about. Like, you you know a crime's been committed against me and is ongoing as... So, so, you say a crime's been committed against you. Do you understand what jurisdiction is, right? Yeah, you have none. Can you prove the seven elements of jurisdiction? What are they? I, have, I, have, I don't have jurisdiction in Michigan, so I can't arrest the judge that you wish for me to take into custody. Then how is he over me from Michigan to here? He's not. Only God is my judge, right? If he is equal to me and all men are created equal under your own constitution, your constitution, if we are all equals, if we are all equals as brothers, as a man on man, you can shoot me if you want. Go ahead. Take me out. You do me a favor. Honestly, I go through. You wouldn't even believe what I go through at the, in the daytime. And it's even worse at night when I sleep. And now you want to take me and put me in a box back in a padded room? You want to take me to the people who put me in a padded room and tortured me my whole life and let them do it again? Who are you? Who are you, man? You're better than this. You men are better than this. You're better than this. He is my brother right there. You're praying for me, ain't you, sir? I got faith. So, Jason, Many men have died for me to be able to do this today. We, we all appreciate... Them are God-given unalienable rights. Correct. All men are created equal, which means no judge has authority over me or you. The judge You're free. The arrest warrant, okay? You are free. You literally are. You're free to leave. Huh? That is a peaceful resolve. I have harmed no one. I don't intend on harming no one. You are harming me right now. I'm, I'm glad you haven't harmed anyone and don't want to. Absolutely. I would never do that. What? Remember how we talked about good faith? Good faith is you leaving and going and getting that judge. Did you throw the hammer out the door? No, I didn't get that. I'd rather blow, give myself a blow to my head when you're coming in here. I would rather die right here standing on my ground than to go with pirates who want to take me somewhere to torture me and poke me with needles and shit and do all kinds of whatever the fuck you people do. I had my brain electric. Mark Luoma, here's the crime. Crime, I want to report, I want to report multiple felonies. Where did they happen at? Have you ever had your brain electrocuted? Marquette General Hospital. Where, where 
Have you ever had your brain court ordered to be electrocuted? Where? Mark Luoma did mine. Where, where is that hospital at? Marquette, Michigan. And you have none here, sir. We have an arrest warrant for your arrest case. Not a lawful one. It is. No, it isn't. Why? I'm not I'm not gonna commit myself to a judge that's a lesser man than me by far, bud. He has no authority over me, he never will. I will die here or we'll all fall asleep talking about it. It really is like that. Who, who is a man that you respect in modern day? My grandpa. And he would tell me to sit right here. And Korea. And Korea. When a not, you know when they invaded Normandy, when they hit the deck? Yeah. He smoked a German officer right between his fucking eyes. He took both of his guns and his dice out of his pocket and kept on rolling. So, are, are you a fan of history then, like World War II? I know history. Okay. Have, have you watched the TV show Band of Brothers? Yeah, that's kind of what's going on now. You rolled in here like gangbangers wanting to shoot me, and now you're figuring out that I, I'm actually the victim. I am the injured party. They are the ones being sued. That's what brought you here. Because I exposed them for crimes that you wouldn't even believe other human beings are capable of. They cover people like me up every single day of my life. Jason, do you remember the episode where Major Winter saw Lieutenant Sobel? And Lieutenant Sobel would not salute Major Winter. Do you remember what Major Winter said at that time? I don't know nothing. I don't even know them people. It's in the TV show Band of Brothers that you said you, you have seen. I've seen a lot of movies. Okay. I don't remember them like that. I remember a whole lot of trauma. That's what I deal with every day. I've read thousands of books. I've watched thousands of movies, but I, I remember trauma. That's it. That, that is really what I go through 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year for the last 34 years of my life. Out of the 38, I've been alive. You can. So there's a scene where Major Winters sees Lieutenant Sobel, and Lieutenant Sobel doesn't salute Major Winters. Major Winters makes the remark, you respect the rank, you may not respect the man, but you respect the rank. Amen. Okay. God above. So, that's right. God that's above the only rank. rank, that's the only authority over me, and you, right. sir. Which means you really are free to free yourself right now. But I, I can't speak for anything that's happened in your past. I can't free you. You can free you by leaving. Take your tank off my lawn. Take that big tank. Okay, look at that. How much money did that thing cost? What's a life worth? What is a life? What is a human life worth? It? A human life is invaluable. Really? Did you just say that? A human life can't be replaced. You just said that. Thank you, brother. I'm glad you're hearing me now. Hey? Thank you. Then do the right thing and leave and go arrest that judge. But I can't arrest that judge. You really can. I can't. That's, that's then find somebody who can because no judge has no authority over me. With, with that being said, with God being our only authority, our only lawful authority, that gives you as a man the authority to turn your tank around and go get that fucking criminal judge. We, we have the arrest warrant for you. I can't do anything about it. And I declared it not valid. It's null. It's void for cause. It's more than filed. They're going to get their copy in three days. Okay. So then that course of action is already in progress. I served them law, through lawful civil process two other county sheriffs. Okay. Jackson County Sheriff, Chippewa Falls County Sheriff, James Kowalczyk. Yep. They serve their own courts. The courts are named as a defendant right now. That really is the status of the case. Okay. So why are you here again? Because I because I pissed off the judge who's trying to kill me. I already read the Why are you still talking? Because we're having a Because what? We're having a conversation to try to end this peacefully. Then leave. Call me another day and we'll drink a beer together. You know what I mean? Leave.